Hi everybody, Larry Graves here. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. And finally, <laughs> getting everything together to show you my hype sticker collection. Now I've been a serious hype sticker collector for probably the past 25 years or so. Uh, whenever I buy something new and it's got one of those hype stickers on it, I usually, what I usually do, will I'll keep it in the plastic. You know, I won't throw the plastic out, and that way the hype sticker is kept, you know, sa safe. For instance, this one, uh, imagine John Lennon. Now, this was given to me as uh, a gift by uh, Yoko Ono and Sean Lennon a couple of years ago. And I did at one point try to peel it off, but it would have ripped it. So I've just kept it like this. And uh, just quickly show you the, uh, this was the, the white vinyl. And there's one more hype sticker, another gift from uh, Yoko and Sean. And this one was actually on the box set. <laughs> I just dropped it. Where, where did it go? I lost my hype sticker. Here it is. So, like I said, it's on the original box set with the plastic and all. So there it is. And you just simply stick it back on. There, doesn't that look nice? There's actually three gifts that uh, Yoko Ono and Sean sent me, plus very nice cards, but this one doesn't have the hype sticker. I must, I don't know if I threw it out. Very upsetting if I did. Yeah, so I received, yeah, there's one of them there. Another one there. This one has my address on it. Okay, so moving forward. Oh, lots to go through here. So, like I said, I, I keep, I usually try and keep the plastic on the, the CD, depending. Here's one uh, for Farewell, Farewell Alder Baron. A very kind of a cult classic album from the early 70s with Judy Hensky and Jerry Yester. And there's the hype sticker. A couple recent uh, Paul Weller albums. I, yeah, the, the other thing I do is I'll take the plastic off, the, you know, the wrap off, and I'll very carefully, usually it's easy to peel them off. And I'll stick it back on the actual album. This and this has a shiny coating, so it's you know if I did take this off, it's not going to rip the cover. And this one, yeah, this one I think I I did have trouble taking off the plastic, but there's that one. And another one taken off the plastic. Uh, has a little bit of wear in it. I, I try and keep my hype stickers in perfect condition. Sometimes, you know, they aren't though. So, uh, here's one, Neil Young. 
Official Release Series Volume 4 for Hawks and Doves Reactor. This note's for you in El Dorado. That's a beauty of a hype sticker. And on my ASMR channel, I just did an, an unboxing for uh, two, Joni Mitch, two Joni Mitchell box sets. There's the one hype sticker. And the other one. I love how, how they're different colors. Isn't that? That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful hype stick. Oh no, one fell. It's all right. Uh, this is for the Pretty Things parachute. The band's oh hype stick keeps falling. Stay. Uh, the Pretty Things parachute. The band's highly acclaimed fifth album from 1970 with six bonus tracks. Highly recommend you listening to Parachute by the Pretty Things if you ever have. Just so good. Get it to focus. There you look. Nice, beautiful red hype sticker. That's one of my favorites. Another uh, Paul Weller. This is for his live album. One of his live albums. That's, that's beautiful. And uh, I think that's it for now. I've got all of my other hype stickers in a box. And they're in, they're in alphabetical order. Uh, from A to Z, it's filled, and I, you know, I just don't want to take it out because it's very delicate, and the hype stickers are sticky, and so I'd rather not just take them out at the moment. But there's one more hype sticker, and I'm going to show you how, well, I had a bit of difficulty, but I managed, I have this box set here, the Flaming Lips. And I'll show you at the end of this video clip here how I took this how I took this hype sticker off. And so that yeah, I didn't show you all of my hype stickers, but I just showed you I guess some of my favorites. And uh, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a a comment below and uh, let me know how many hype stickers you have. I think I have uh, huh, a few hundred. They're in a box in my bedroom and they're for safekeeping. They're, I don't like to take them out much because the hype stickers are sticky. Bye. So uh, you, usually I like to keep the hype sticker on the plastic. For instance, with this Flaming Lips uh, 25th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. For, uh, for Yoshi Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. But I'm going to just show you how, you know, if you you want to collect the hype stickers and not on the plastic. I've started it already, as you can see. And it's it's simple. Just and you you kind of press on the plastic here, hold it firmly, and just start. There it goes.
So it is uh, it's coming off here slowly but surely. Always, always take out the CDs first. Now this one's a little more difficult than the other hype stickers to take off the plastic. But it's not tearing. I'm being very, very, very careful because you want to keep your hype stickers in the, the best condition possible without any tear. So there we go. Look at that, there's, there's the hype sticker. That is cool. 